Hi everyone, it's Sarah here from Recover Wellbeing. I'm an occupational therapist and Pilates instructor and this morning I have a special class for our friends at Dharma Bums. It's a Pilates posture reset, so I hope you enjoy it. We're going to start on our mats with just a little bit of a check-in to see how we're feeling before we start because we're going to do the same thing when we finish so we can have a little compare. So I want you to just stand with your feet in parallel and just close down the eyes and check in with your body. How does it feel? Any areas of tension, compression, relaxation, what feels free, what feels tight, what feels stiff? How do you feel in yourself? Maybe do a little running check in from your feet, your ankles, your legs, your knees, your thighs. How do you feel around your hips and your lower back, your tummy? How does your spine feel, your ribs, your chest, your shoulders, your neck and your head? We're going to be doing some exercises, a mix of stretch and strength to really optimize our posture. And hopefully you can feel that difference at the end. So we're going to start with some roll downs. So just tucking the head down. Rolling through the shoulders, let the head be heavy as it pulls you down slowly. We're just going to do one of these to get down into our quadruped position, but we're going to take our time, feel that stretch in the back of the legs, take a nice slow breath, and just start to walk yourself out into our quadruped position. So we've got wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're going to start with just a little bit of cat-cow, just to loosen up through the spine a little, get some strength, get some stretch, and start to get some movement into the spine. So press your feet into the floor, draw your shoulders away from your ears, tuck the bottom under and look through your legs as we stretch the spine up, pressing the feet in to engage the tummy. And then draw the shoulders away from your ears, poke the bottom out, let your belly draw towards the floor as you open your chest to breathe in. And then exhale the reverse. Looking through your legs, pressing your feet in, still drawing your shoulders away from your ears as you're rounding. And then inhale. Feel like you're spreading the fingers actively into the mat. We're gonna do that one more time. And inhale. And then we're going to find ourselves in our neutral position. So back into that mid ground. You're going to activate through the core. So drawing your belly button in towards your spine, away from the floor. Push your chest away from the floor. Keep your torso still as we reach opposite arm and leg. So now we're activating through the core, which of course is an essential part of our posture and we're lengthening through the arm and leg. So rather than lifting high, think about reaching long. We want to get as much length through the body as possible. So really reaching the fingertips and the toes away. Inhale as we come into that stable posture. And then exhale as we reach. So we're activating through the glutes here as we extend through the leg. Another essential part of our posture. And getting some stability through the torso. So it's all staying really still as you're taking the arm and leg out. I'm going to do one more to each side. Exhale to reach. Inhale in. Exhale to reach. Inhale in. And we're going to start to go into some rotation. So take the hand, right hand behind the head, and we're going to exhale as we rotate, bringing the elbow in towards the wrist. This can feel really nice. And then we're going to inhale as we push into that left hand, open up as much as possible, bringing that elbow up towards the sky. So we exhale as we come down into that rotation. Inhale to straighten that left arm, push through the floor, opening up as much as you can into that rotation, into that extension up towards the sky. Exhaling down, we're going to do six of these. So this is three. Exhale, inhale, four, 
five. And last one. Really pushing through that arm, extending as much as you can, and then coming back down and the other side. Left hand behind, exhale as the elbow comes in, enjoying that beautiful rotation, and then pushing up and rotating out the opposite way. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, really pushing through that arm nice and long. Draw the shoulders away from your ears as you rotate and really try and pull that elbow out towards the ceiling or the sky in my case. <laughs> We've got two more. And last one. And then coming back down, knees wide, bottom back onto the heels, stretch the arms forward for a nice little child pose, stretching into the armpits, allowing the lower back to relax and let the forehead rest onto the mat. Taking a nice slow breath here and then just slowly rolling back up into our seated position. So from here we're going to go into a little bit of prone extension and some swan. So coming down onto the tummy, hands in by the chest, we're going to do four prone extension and four swan. You can choose to stay with the first variation if that's enough for you. So we start to articulate through the spine, pressing your pubic bone into the floor, hands into the mat, elbows in and drawing back towards your heels as you're opening through the chest and looking towards the top of your mat and then rolling back down. There's a lot to think about with this one as with all Pilates exercises. So there's that drawing in of the tummy, elbows reaching back towards the heels, light pressure into the hands as we open through the chest and then rolling back down. The idea is that we're articulating vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting up through the crown of the head, opening through the throat, the chest, the sternum, the ribs, Pressing into the hands and then rolling back down. Ribs, sternum, collarbones, neck, head. Last one here. And then we're going to come into our whole swan. So if this is enough for you, just stay with the prone extension. If you want to come up the whole way, we do exactly the same thing. But then we press into the hands, squeeze the glutes, draw the tummy in. Use the arms to press as you lift, keeping the chest open, and then coming back down, belly, ribs, sternum, chest, head. And we've got three more like that to go. Inhaling as we come up, active through the upper back, hands, glutes, tummy, keeping the shoulders away from your ears and nice and open through the chest. All the way back down. And we've got two more to go like that. Really lengthening through your spine as much as you can. We're creating space in the body today. And then exhale as we come down, trying to lengthen the spine as you lower, taking up as much length on the mat as you can. Last one. All the way out. This one's beautiful for our posture, especially if you've been sitting a lot and then coming back down and we're going to push up into a quick hip flexor stretch this is another really important stretch that I love to do especially when I've been sitting too long hip flexors can wreak havoc on the lower back and posture um, especially if you spend a lot of time sitting so you want to make sure you've got a 90 degree angle at the front knee and it's not about leaning as far into it as you can. You really don't have to lean that far. You can even have your back knee on a cushion if it's uncomfortable, but draw the pubic bone up to the belly button and tuck your butt under slightly. And that should give you the stretch in the hip flexor. You can squeeze this back glute a little bit as well. Take some nice slow breaths there. Keep your posture tall. After all, that's what we're trying to work on through this session. And then we're gonna swap legs to the other side again 90 degrees that tuck of the pelvis squeeze that right glute and feeling that stretch through 
the front of the hip. Take some nice slow breaths there. And out. I'm going to come into our mermaid. Now this is an exercise that you probably see me do a lot. I really love this one for good reason, for our posture, our back, and it's really nice to have a lateral stretch through the body. But we're going to add in a upper trap stretch as well to help with this posture reset. So coming over to the side, keep both sit bones grounded, flick your palm, reach the fingertips away, keep reaching as far as you can with those fingers, keep your head tilted to the side and you should about here start to feel that stretch in the upper traps. So my fingers are actively reaching towards the floor and then I'm just going to gently push myself back up using my arm and my core. Coming over to the other side, just gently leaning on this arm, I'm holding myself mostly. Palm flips, reach, fingertips really actively reaching away as far as you can. If you're floppy through the arm, you're not going to feel this stretch. So keep them really actively reaching as much as you can. Feel that stretch, keep the head nice and relaxed towards the floor and then drawing yourself back up. We're going to do that one more time to each side, coming over. Keeping both sit bones grounded, watch you haven't lent too far. Flip the palm, reaching away all the way through the fingertips, feeling the stretch right about now. And then coming back up. Keep yourself tall as you come over. Keep that length through the spine rather than collapsing to the side. Flick the palm, reach the fingertips, really actively reaching as much as you can. Keep the head gently relaxed, fingertips reach, and then coming back up. And we're going to roll onto our backs to finish with some bridging before our last little check-in. So rolling down, this is another one of my favourite exercises that you'll see me do a lot. There's so many benefits to bridging, and our glutes do play an important role with our posture, believe it or not. So we're going to tuck the tailbone under, I'm going to squeeze the glutes, I'm going to start to roll up. And we're going to do five of these. Breathing in at the top. And then exhale as we roll back down. I love to do my bridges with an articulation through the spine. Works for most people. There's only a few that we don't do it with. So you tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze the glutes. That's the important part. And articulate through the spine, keeping your thighs parallel. Breath in at the top. And then articulate back down. So... The ribs will soften first, vertebrae by vertebrae coming back down, melting through the lower back before the pelvis comes to settle back in neutral. Now, I've lost count already, <laughs> but let's say three more. So breathing in at the top and exhaling as we come back down. So two to go. Something else you can check with your bridging other than squeezing your glutes is that your hips are level, that you can have a look at the top and that you don't have one hip higher than the other. It's easy enough to try and correct that when you can see it. And breath in at the bottom. Exhaling up. Squeezing the glutes. Piece by piece. Breath in at the top. And exhaling back down. All the way down to relax at the bottom. And then we're going to come up. I'm going to finish the way that we started. So onto our haunches here. And we're going to finish with a roll down. So start to stretch the legs up. Let the head be nice and heavy. We're going to hold it for just a moment here. Feeling that stretch in the back of the legs. Pay attention to your feet. You want to feel some pressure through underneath the big toe joint, the baby toe joint, and your heels. A gentle little lift under the arches, watching that your feet are parallel. Keep the head nice and relaxed, back of the neck long. And then start to travel upwards, noticing the alignment through your lower legs. Feeling just a gentle lift of the quads as your kneecap draws slightly upwards. Tuck the tailbone under, a little squeeze of the glutes, and then as we start to open through the front side of the body, the pelvis settles in neutral. 
There's a lengthening through the spine and opening through the chest. Feel the width of the collarbones. Feel a lightness through the front side of your body. Feel the back of the neck lengthen as if someone was drawing you up from the crown of your head, allowing you to find just a centimeter or two more length in your spine. Your fingers are heavy towards the floor. Your feet are grounded as if you've got each opposite end of your body just gently pulling you in either direction. Taking a nice slow breath with relaxed shoulders. Feel that freedom, that decompression, that space you've created in the body. And exhaling, keeping that length in the body as you move into your day. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel a little looser, a little decompressed and stretched out after that session.